Okay, so today we're going to be doing a build log on the TAS Foamies Extra 260. And this is not everything that comes in the box, but this is everything that we'll be using today. Uh, everything that comes in your box will be your carbon. The carbon includes the 2mm landing gear carbon. Your, uh, you have four 1.2mm uh, carbon rods and a 1x3mm strip for your wings bar. And it also comes with a little uh, strip of wire for everything like your Z-Beds too. Uh, some people like to do uh, uh, landing gear skids so they'll bend the wire a little bit flat. It's, it's old but some people still like to do it. Or if you want to put wheels on it, uh, it comes with the hub for it. So anyway, um, it also includes your hardware pack. Your hardware pack comes with your, comes with a sticker, comes with your Kevlar, uh, Kevlar pull pull thread. You have uh, this is your motor mount doubler, so at the front of your plane when everything's built, it goes on like that, and then you, at that point, you will glue on your, your plywood motor mount. And so then after that, you've got a roll of blender, fresh roll of blender. It has enough for, I think, about three planes, but this is what comes on the roll, so this is what you get. There's pl plenty for screw-ups, plenty if you need to um, fix something. You have your... Um, uh, laser cut aileron horns those need no maintenance but these you have you have your pull pull horns which are uh, lightened and they have little holes in them so you're gonna want to take your exacto knife or something like that or whatever you have laying around and just sort of clean them up so uh, I'll zoom I'll, I would zoom in on this or I'll probably just bring it closer so I'm just gonna clean it up a bit and then uh, when you have these little circles, or circles, or sometimes there will be a triangle left over there, what you want to do is just uh, take it on the back side where it's not, uh, where the laser didn't go through very well, and you just want to clean it up. Go around the circle and then pop it through. And after that, it's not a big deal. But you want to clean those out and pop them through. The little ones you have to be very careful with, because these are mainly for pull pull for string, so you need to, um, they have a little bit bigger hole there. So you just want to sort of clean them up a bit, like so. And that's what you want to do for the other one as well. And your hardware pack comes with two of those. And this one is good to go. That one's already done. And so for the phone, the phone you should have in your kit, you should have two um, uh, wheel pants, you should have two set, uh, not two sets, but two uh, two landing gear pieces, and you should have a cowling piece. Now, one thing I should tell you, though, uh, this is all three pieces. I accidentally did a little bit of work the other day. I just recently decided to use this for my build video. All I did was uh, just sort of glue that together. It's nothing really crazy. Um, literally, it's just gluing it and spraying it. If you can see up close, you've got your um, little line in here. And then you have the same thing over here. And that's all I did. There's nothing special there. And one thing that now that we do on our on our kits is we have um, I routed out some um, some little guide marks for where you put your tabs on. And the tabs um, your kit should come with um, some uh, leftover or uh, foam that's still stuck to the parts. And then what you would do is you just take a little bit of that, cut a little circle, triangle, whatever you want to whatever you want to put on there. It could be a letter for all I care and just sort of put it over that and then stick the carbon into. That'll be that'll be shown later in the video. And um, uh, let's put this over here real quick. Uh, you should have your top and bottom fuselage pieces. I'm gonna pull this back into the bag while I'm talking. Um, the top and bottom fuselage pieces, your rudder now the bottom something I should tell you about the bottom is the bottom has a little uh, guide mark here for where you would put the tabs for your strut lining or for your strut, uh, not cables, but your strut rods and then after that you will um, uh, stick the carbon through that and what am I missing here? Uh, oh, one thing that I thought was pretty cool that that I started doing on, on the kits is when you, put a, when you put a plane together the servos have little tabs on them so what we do is I made a little, I don't know if you can, let me see if I can bring it closer um, we, I made a little bit of an indent there, so that way it doesn't uh, take any um, take any space away from when you put it onto the sheet. And um, 
or onto the other part there so that way the tabs fit perfectly in place and this one would be for the one that lays flat for your elevator so that one doesn't need it and you would just glue that. Your kit should come with the elevator, uh, your two ailerons over here, and what am I missing here? I think that's about it for what it comes with. Now uh, I'm going to be doing a few uh, different little techniques in, in this build because I like to, um, I don't know, I just like to have fun with it and make it make them a little bit lighter and stronger just here and there. But I mean, uh, I'll show you the stock way and then I'll show you uh, some cool tips on how to make them lighter and stronger. And um, some things that I'll be doing is, um, uh, what else here? I'll be doing, um, I'll be running in my plane, I'll have a Hacker A1015S on an 8x4.3 prop. And uh, I'll be using the X mount that comes with the Hacker motors. Um, I have two just for backup. I trimmed actually, I trimmed one side a little bit shorter for um, the, uh, the nose. The shorter piece will go pointing up. I'll be running a Castle Creation 6 amp ESC. Uh, this is brand new. I haven't put any plugs on it yet. I'll probably show that in the video as well. And for servos, I've got a Futaba S3114 on ailerons. And I've got JRDS 188s on tail. These are the digital version, well, hence the DS. And uh, I can never figure that out. Uh, and the reason I like the digital servos is because they have a lot better holding power. You could hold, you could turn the stick all the way to the right and push on it, and to some point you almost don't want to push too hard, but you can really tell how much they're working and holding their position. And they say they're about the same torque as the analog version, but they have much better holding power, so that's what I choose to use. Now in my plane, I'll be running uh, Thunder Power 250 milliamp 25C battery. And but I mean, if you wanted to go a little bit heavier or heavier just more power in general this is this is fine as well I'm using a Thunder Power 325 milliamp uh, 45C battery and you can there's actually a 65C now too which I'm in love with and those work just as well if not way better stupid power so that's what um, that's what we'll be putting in it for glue we're going to be using um, well I use medium some people like to use thin I highly uh, this is actually, I cut this one out of Depron Arrow, but there's no difference in the build except for the glue you use. If you use, uh, if you use uh, Thin CA, it will eat away the, de the, 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 the Depron Arrow. Uh, so if you use, I prefer to use medium just because it's a lot, not only is it easier to use, but you don't get any spillage, you don't, um, you know, it doesn't eat the, no, it doesn't eat the phone away, and uh, it's just a lot easier to work with. Now for tools, some uh, some tools that you'll need for your build, um, tools and extra materials. Uh, I'm using cut right wax paper. Now you're just going to put a long strip across the top to bottom or side to side, whatever you prefer, and then just tape it down. And I know what you're thinking, tape doesn't stick to wax paper. Well, it works just fine. <laughs> and then uh, some other things I've got uh, some black electrical tape for anything like your, um, I don't, just for anything you might need for. Um, on, on electrical cables or whatever, just tying it down, or, or blender works just as well, which comes in your kit. Some people like to use electrical tape. You want an X-Acto knife or a, a hide retractable blade. I prefer the hide retractable blades just because they're breakable. Right. What I mean is you can you can snap them on the spot and then you can you know start with a fresh piece, and uh, they 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 just come sharper just in general. Uh, you're gonna want some needle nose pliers. Uh, I have the needle nose pliers with with dikes on the on the inner uh, on the inner section of the cutting or the grabbing, and uh, or if you don't have um, if you don't have pliers with the cutter, you can just get a separate pair, and it'll work just fine. I'm using I'll also have some double sided tape. Um, it's kind of thick, but I use it on just things from my ESC to um, whatever it may be, mostly the uh, uh, ESC to the uh, the foam. So I'm not too worried about it. That and you're going to want a straight edge. You're also going to want a very thin straight edge too if you can find one. The reason I use this one is because it's it's thin and if I were if I were using a plastic one you would have to or you would actually end up cutting a little bit of it off but when you do things like beveling like in here and stuff it really comes in handy and you know it'll I'll show you that later in the video and so um, what am I missing here? For a receiver for the receiver on this plane you're going to want to run at least a four-channel receiver, um, anywhere from 
there's uh, the smallest one I've seen is 0.7 grams all the way up to about eight grams. And you know, I mean, you can go a little bit heavier, but it won't it won't fly as well. Um, because you know, it all adds up. But and that's that's about all of it. I will act, I will actually be using some thinner. Uh, for pull pull, I will be using some thinner Kevlar thread. I don't know if I put it, but here it is. It's actually a little bit thinner, and it's not braided, but it's it's definitely lighter. So I'm I'm going to use this stuff for me, but um, but the other stuff works just as well. And it's overkill, but because I'm making this one lighter, I don't need it. So that's about it. Now we can get on with our build.